What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp. This is Sparky back, back again like he never left. And today we're going to be doing a review on the Dark Pistol Red Dot from SOUSA. So if you're unfamiliar with SOUSA, they are a uh, optics company. Their CMC's optics company okay. recently bought out Sun Optics, revamped the whole thing, and started releasing Red Dot. We have one here. So uh, big shout out to them for sending it out. We have it on the Glock 19. And we recently did a review on the Glock 19, which you should go watch. So it's a good one. Tagged up here, click it, watch it, but not after, not until after you watch this one. Also, I want to thank a channel sponsor, Cur Ammo. If you're unfamiliar with Cur Ammo, they are a huge supporter of the channel. They literally provide me all kinds of ammunition for reviews and whatnot. And they also have a good selection of hunting ammo, which you don't see a lot of the hunting I do, but I do a ton of hunting and I'm always looking for ammo. Cur has it, whether that be like Hornady or um, shoot, Nosler. Nosler. Thank you, Sparky. See? I know I keep you around for, for a reason, right? but Kerr has it, so you should go check them out. Code DELP10, save you $10 off your first order over there at Kerr Ammo. Link is in the description. Take someoneoutdoors.com forward slash links. There you can find Kerr's button. So let's dive right into the specs of this little red dot here, and there's not a ton to go over, actually. It's pretty... It's pistol pretty, red dot. Pistol, it's a pistol Micro red dot. Micro red dot. Micro. Key. So this is, as previously mentioned, a micro red dot from SOUSA, it runs you about $210, which is pretty on par in terms of pistol red dots. You'll, right you'll, in, yeah, it's right, right there. Right in the middle of everything else. Yeah, you'll see like the Vortex, and then uh, what's the other one? Burris. Burris, Burris is another one. So it, it, one it's really on range. par. So what do you get for that $210 price point? Well, you get a three MO dot, MOA dot, so when you pull up, and the dot you see is a three MOA when you put it on target. Um, you have 10 different brightness settings. You have two night vision settings, and this is night vision compatible. So if you're running nods or whatever. That's pretty impressive. For the yeah, for, for the price point. Um, so it there's that. It's really nice. It comes automatically ready for a Glock 43 or a 48, I do believe. That's the other yeah, one. Yeah, that's the other one. Yep. And then a SIG P365 and then a Springfield Hellcat. So uh, if, you're, if you're running one of them, all you have to do is have the optics ready, optics ready version. You just drop it on, screw that sucker ready in, and she's ready to go. Where I was running it with the Glock 19, actually, I had to use a plate that Glock had, and then I had to trim the Glock screws because they were a little bit long. But after I trim the screws, they work. So just make sure you're getting the right screws so you don't have to trim them. Mm. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, just yep, a little bit. Right tool for the job type deal. Simple-minded. Uh, yeah, simple-minded. Other than that, there's not a whole lot more to it. There's the, there's the weight, which is uh, approximately, let me pull the cheat sheet. About half an ounce. Boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it adds up on a pistol. Yeah, you, it does you add up think on about a pistol. It, so but it, it, it makes a difference. It does make a difference. Um, you also have an automatic cutoff, which I think I forgot to mention. 12 hours. 12 hours automatic cutoff, which is nice because I leave this stuff on. And then it has a CR2030 battery. Yep. And that's about it in terms of the specs and kind of all there is to it. Um, on, off, you can adjust. It's easy. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory in terms of that. All right, so let's talk about how it performed. But before we talk about how it performed, I would like to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Core Essentials. So if you guys are unfamiliar, Core is like one of my favorite belts. I always wear them as my range belt. So this one right here, this is the Core Battle Belt. If you go back, I don't know how many videos you will see me wear. Quite a few. Yeah, I've, I've had this thing for a while, ever since they released it, and I loved it. Um, I can carry literally everything on it's the dual system belt so you have your outer belt and your inner belt and one good thing about core is they have the track system on it so Probably my it, favorite feature. yeah easily adjustable so easily change it whatever you need a little bit more you eat a big supper you know button it back down good for thanksgiving good, good it's a good thanksgiving belt you know easily adjustable big thank you to core if you want to check out this belt you should head on over to the link in my description it's going to be linked right there at the top use code elliot delt 10 Saves you 10% off on your order. Helps me out a lot. Um, if you want to be a supporter of the channel, that is one way to do so. So let's dive right into how it performed. I've been running this on the Glock 19, as previously mentioned, a couple hundred thousand times. And uh, it's ran really well. I have it seated. I've zeroed it. Zeroed it here at this range. I zeroed it at like seven yards. And uh, it's, it's done great ever since. So I, I ran it through all that ammunition that I did for the Glock review. Uh, which was Callaway Ballistics, so big shout out to them. They, they did give me all the 9mm for this, so uh, they're real big supporters of the channel. Go check them out. Let's shoot it in, in real life, yeah. you know, in real video, so it's not just B-roll as you always see. Um, we have some Callaway, and then I'll talk a little bit of, more about 
how I think and how I feel it performs. So uh, we're gonna give her a few shots here. If I can hit anything, there we go. Man, it, it really, it's rough when you can't shoot. I swear it's sighted in. I swear I sighted it. I swear I sighted it in. Uh, so I'm a big fan of it. This is actually my per first pistol red dot ever, uh, ever. And um, it, it takes some getting used to. So one thing you have to, and I guess if you had half decent pistol fundamentals, when you're pulling it up, chasing just it. chasing that red dot. Getting good acquisition of the red dot, that's something you learn to get used to. And then once you get used to it, you, you can run really good with it. So I did like that. I did find that really nice. One of the things that I'm gonna do in the future that I didn't really do, it came with a uh, pick, pick mount. Oh, it did? Yeah, so oh. what I might do in the future, I might run it canned on like- A recce rifle. A recce rifle. Interesting you bring that up. That, that's one thing I want to do with it in the future that I didn't really get to do with this time for the review is kind of run it as a canid on a recce rifle or something of that nature. Overall, I've had a really good experience with it. Held zero really good through all the shooting and crap, dropping it down, you know, just... Beat it up a little bit. You know, everyday life. Everyday, like, everyday life stuff. On a pistol. Um, and it's, the footprint's easy, so when running it concealed in, in yeah. a waistband, it's, it's nothing. That's thing I do like about it. It's not overly bulky. No. It's not too tall. No. It's, it's narrow enough. Like I said, it's made for, you know, a slimmer gun than that, but it works. Yeah, it works. I mean, it's it's really made for, like, your... Sig 365, your Hellcats, 43s. But the, it, it works. Oh, yeah. So, uh, really, really happy with it. And uh, I guess that, that leads on to the third and kind of final part of the video where I talk about, do I think you should buy it, why you should buy it, and where does it really fit in your arsenal? I think if you're wanting to get into pistol red dots, it's a nice option to go to. So it's right there on par in terms of price. Mm -hmm. You know, you're getting CMC's optics company set. You could rely on it. CMC's like you, well, you use LaRue triggers. You, you don't matter. Uh, I use CMC triggers all the time. I'm, I'm a super big fan of it's them. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. And once they picked up the optics company and, and kind of revamped it, I've been a real big fan of their products. And uh, I can really say I stand behind them. I have the LPBO. Oh, gosh. Don't They're die. Right. Don't die. I've been a real big, big fan of them. So if you're looking to get into it or if you've, I guess if you're just looking to get into it, it's a very it's good, good middle of the road. Mitch, yeah, middle, middle of the road. It's not some super cheap like oh, Airsoft or True Glow or something like that. It's something you can get into and feel comfortable with your purchase. Now, one of the things you might want to use this for is, like I said, a cannon. Because, I mean, I see a lot of people, that's a big thing. It's a popular thing to do now is run a cannon micro red dot on, on stuff, um, not just pistols. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Maybe if you want to look into doing that. I can't te attest personally to it, but not I don't know why not. You know, so that's something you might want to look into. Maybe if you're running like a, a maybe a more magnified version instead of like a recce, because recce's are traditionally LPVO. Yeah, exactly. Like if you're running like you know Mark 12. Yeah, you're, you're Mark gonna, 12. You're going to want something that if you need to transition from you know higher magnification to low magnification real quick, real quickly. This that's is, the, that's the way to do it. This would be it, and night vision compatible, which is nice. I'm I'm honestly surprised at that price point. Yeah, so that it has that option. It it really it really fits a lot of. Uh, a lot of needs if you're wanting to pick up a micro red dot and one of the things you had talked about earlier micro red dots are easy to shoot oh yeah so like you get you pick one up you get accustomed to it and you said people lose fundamentals and that might be true but you get good at shooting a red dot you chase the dot it works that's, it works for a reason a you know it's a rabbit hole it is a rabbit hole it, it's easy to pick up easy to use and it's fun mm -hmm. so i mean what what more do you need in terms of needing to buy something oh yeah and if you want to pick it up, I really recommend you follow me on Instagram. So I post literally all kinds of deals over on Instagram um, today. As previously mentioned in the vlog video, if you watched that one, uh, I posted a primary arms deal on a second focal plane rifle scope. It was a great deal. Um, constantly checking it. Uh, Radical does a lot of uppers on primary arms. So if you want to pick up like a Radical upper, follow me on Instagram. I will throw it up on my story and you check it out and you buy it. Uh, you can get a pretty good deal on a Radical upper if you're in the market for an AR-15 or something. So 
Really recommend you go and check me out there. Other than that, I think that about does it for the video. I'm gonna wrap it here. I appreciate every single one of you for watching. Big shout out to Core for uh, sponsoring the video. And I think that about does it. As always, take someone outdoors. Peace. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp. And today we're gonna be doing a review of, actually I didn't move, poor old sparkles. Hit in the heart, hit in the heart. Let me hang it. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp. And to fuck on the dark red dot from SOUSA. Uh, and fuck. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. What is up everybody? Welcome. What is up? <laughs>